name is Solomon, and today I will walk you through how to work with the Interbotics Movement Interface ROS package. Specifically, I will focus on using the using MoveIt's MoveGroup C++ and Python APIs. So open up a terminal by pressing Control alt t and typing ROS launch Interbotics XSARM MoveIt interface XSARM MoveIt interface dot launch robot model. I'm going to use a Widow X256 stuff. Um, and then use fake is equal to true. I don't have an actual Widow X256 stuff with me right now, so I'm just going to have move it generate a fake one. Um, six degrees of freedom. By default, that variable is set to five. And then I'm going to set use CPP interface so that we're going to do the demo specifically that uses the move group C++ API to true. Okay, and then press enter. All right, so this is Arviz with the Move It plugin. And here is a graphical user interface I created using PyQt. So there are four buttons in this, well, five buttons really, in this uh, graphical user interface. So when you press any of these buttons, this is a ROS node that will send a message to the actual node that has the C++ move group API. And you can see that over here. If you go to this directory in GitHub, there's a file called move it interface object.cpp. And you can see that there's a uh, function for planning an EE pose, planning an EE position, planning an EE orientation, and Cartesian path, as well as the execute plan function. So those functions correspond to the planning pose here, planning position, planning orientation, and executing uh, the pose. So what are what exactly is the difference for, between all these buttons? So we have plan pose, so you can like tell your arm to go to 0 0.2 and have a y of 0 0.2 and a z of 0. Point. Let's make it 0 0.3 and let's keep the orientation constant. Okay, so plan pose will allow move it to figure out a trajectory that will get the end effector, which is located at EE gripper link relative to the world frame, which is also uh, the same thing as the base link frame here. So that's what uh, this is in reference to. The plan position pose, plan, the plan position button allows you to specify an XYZ position in 3D space and move it will try to achieve it regardless of whatever the orientation might be. Um, plan orientation does the opposite. It'll get the arm to match a certain orientation, but you know it can make whatever position it happens to be, it will be, and then execute actually executes the motion. Reset, resets all of these fields to zero. So let's execute this. And we see that it is now um, exactly where it should be. Now, if we decided to do plan position and then execute, we can see that this, the same position is achieved, but just the orientation is completely arbitrary. And if we do it again, it might be another completely arbitrary orientation, just like that. Um, as far as plan orientation goes, so right now we have it set to zero, zero, zero. So if we click this, you know, it'll essentially pick any position as long as the orientation is still zero, zero, zero. And if we click it again, it might choose something else, something quite interesting this time. But still, it's uh, zero, zero, zero relative to the uh, base to the world frame. The plan orientation isn't exactly too helpful. It's just kind of included here for uh, symmetry purposes. But let's go back to our uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3 pose and execute that. And then we can reset everything by just pressing the reset button and everything gets cleared to zero. Okay. Um, and just to show that you can do another pose, we'll do that. Do a negative 0.14, plan that pose, 
and then execute. Okay, so that's that. Control C out of that. And now I'll show you a bit more about the other uh, API, the Python move group API. So to get that working, just press up on your keyboard to bring up the latest command and just erase the UCPP, the UCPP interface one and type use Python interface is equal to true and then press enter. Okay. So just like before, we have Arvis showing up with the move group plugin. The difference now is that we also have a Python script running. So you can see what that Python script looks like if you go to this directory, go to Interbotics Move It Interface, and then Scripts, and then Move It Python Interface. So this is using the Move It Commander API, which is the same thing as the Move Group Python API. And if you go all the way to the bottom, you will notice the main function. So the first command, the first um, print statement was already said over here about pressing enter to begin the tutorial. So if we press it in the terminal here, it'll uh, do some configurations, print out some stuff, and uh, initialize the move group Python interface. Um, and then as you can see, it says press enter to execute a movement using a join state goal. And that's the same thing that we see over here. So that's this file. Like I said, it's in this directory. You can look at it as you go through the script. So let's press enter. So that was going to this joint goal of uh, shoulder position of negative 0 0.5 and elbow position of 0 0.5. Um, and a wrist angle position of 0 0.5. Now we're going to oppose goal. So we're, we're telling it to go to an X position of 0.2, a Z position of 0.25, and an orientation that is um, the same orientation as the world frame. Now we're going to plan and display a Cartesian path. This is just a, um, a plan that will make the end effector go up, then left, and then down. Now we're going to display it again. And then we're going to actually execute it. And this is pretty much following the convention that you see in the Python example that Moveit has for their tutorials, just with using our arms instead. Now we're going to add a box to the planning scene. So if you, if you wanted to model the robot picking something up, you can do it. So we add a box, and when it turns purple, that means the box is attached to the uh, end effector. Now we're going to plan a path where it pretty much does the opposite motion. It goes up, then right, then down. Then we're going to detach the box. It'll turn green. And then removing the box from the planning scene will make it disappear. And that's the end of the tutorial. At this point, you can just control C out of your terminal. And that's really all there is to it for using for running the Python interface node. Um, it might be easier, like the way I have it configured right now is um, here I'll show you. Go to manipulators, access arms, examples, move it interface, and then launch. And then the XSR move it interface at launch file. You will see there's a Python script here um, that you can run. For when you do your own development, you might want to put that in your own launch file, in a separate launch file, and just run um, the move it, the XSR move it launch file separately. And then you can run your own Python interface node in, a, in a, another launch file. Some things to to make note of is that you want to remap these two topics that I have here to be robot name slash attached collision object or slash collision object. This only really matters if you're planning on sticking um, like a little cube like the way I did in uh, the tutorial. But if you're not going to do that, then you don't really have to work with that. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. And I will see you next time.